Well, good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. As you can see, there's been a, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions. Conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here. Points of access hard to come by and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates. But regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. Just lacked a decent finish. Yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Laid back in. Bone Gardner! Defence has got rid of that. Nicely worked opportunity, that's some lovely exchanges. Well, that's how you penetrate the numbers, with very shrewd movement and passing precision, and all done at pace. Great hit! That's not going far. Kamavinga. Yeah! And it's Tony Kroos. Lucas Vasquez chasing after it. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Haidara, gently done. Mendy, Real Madrid are seeing more of the ball, but still not carrying much goal threat. Valverde. Rodrigo. It's Bellingham. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Now that's well seen too. And it's Lucas Vasquez. Danny Olmo. Looking for options for movement. That has been cut short. Well, it looked promising for a moment, but it came to nothing. Nacho. And he's forced to go back. Mendy. That's a good run down the left. Bellingham. the whistle for half-time. Well, there it is, half-time, not a bad watch by any means, and the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate, and so we reach the break, and the game remains goalless. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. They've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. And it's hoisted clear. There will be a throw-in. Haidara. Moved on forwards. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. 
Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Danny Olmo showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Long ball by the goalkeeper. Vinicius Junior. Well played, that has snuffed out the danger. Mikeba. Looks to bypass the midfield. And he just whacks it away. Nacho. Delicate chip through, and there's green grass ahead of him. Real Madrid merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Oh, terrible pass! Can he put it away? Oh, yes, it's there! Finally, finally, finally! Was there ever any doubt? Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end up. Red Bull Leipzig have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. And I think that's happened in this case. And that is that.